weightlifting is under the gun again. Yep. Uh, this is a pretty big one. This is like the Icarus for weightlifting, specifically. So this group called ARD out of Germany, they did a documentary and it got the Olympics retest stuff going. And we know there are notable people who have been uh, sanctioned now and their medals <coughs> were stripped from them because of those retests of their B samples. Now that same group did some undercover work and they've released a new documentary called Lord of the Lifters. It's a German documentary, so right now there aren't any subtitles. However, Gregor Winter at All Things Gym has uh, put together a really robust summary. So I'm gonna link that in the, in the description and I really would encourage all of you guys to read every one of the bullet points. Um, I'm not gonna go over all of the bullet points, but I wanna talk about some of the shocking stuff. Now, I just wanna say this and, and get this out. In before all of the people that say, fuck it, let them all dope, right? They're all on it anyways. We just wanna see the heaviest weights being lifted. Let's let it happen. Now, I would encourage you to take a little bit more of a nuanced approach to, to something like this. Um, that attitude is what gets teams in this past year, like Thailand and Egypt, banned from competing in this sport at the uh, World Championships and now at the Olympics um, because they were doping children and they were caught doping children. Now, I say Egypt and Thailand, but I could insert any country that has systematic doping. Why? Because all of these countries that have systematic doping, they all do the same thing. They handpick kids who are pretty good athletes, and as they go through puberty, they start to administer doping. Typically, this is 12 years old for uh, girls and 13 years old for boys. That's fucked up. I don't care how you spin it, right? So those of you who are saying, let them all dope, that's what you get. You get a group of bureaucrats giving children dope so that they can win medals. They don't give a shit about these kids and their health. All they care about is the medals, right? So I'm gonna go over, again, some of the shocking stuff, but please read this entire thing. Weightlifting had 700 doping cases since 2000. Um, in, from 2008 to 2017, 540 medals were awarded from World Championships and the Olympics. Almost 50% of the medalists were not tested. Two-thirds of the Russian medalists were not tested. Uh, and now we know what's happening to the Russians. Then, this is one of the more shocking things, but again, it, it just keeps getting ridiculous from here. There's a group called Hunedo, and I believe that that's Hungary something, like testers from Hungary, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I probably should have done a little research there. Um, but the IWF exclusively employs them. They carry out 77% of the tests. Sometimes the IWF doesn't have a choice uh, with who their testers are. At Houston Worlds in 2015, uh, an event that I went to and had a lot of fun at, and there was a lot of good lifting. At Houston Worlds, there were 24 positive tests out of 200 tests. So only 200 of the athletes were tested out of, I think, 400, something like that. And out of that, 24 were popped. That's 12%. That's an, an, an astonishing, astonishingly high number. And the reason why in Houston they were popped was because Travis Tigert decided, the, the head of USADA decided that he was not going to stand by and let Hunedo test these athletes, that he was going to test them and that USADA was going to test them. USADA had checked hotel rooms at this world and they had found syringes. Um, and like I said, 24 doping cases. Uh, then it gets into the Moldovan doctor. This is, this one is ridiculous. Uh, and I just, I can't believe this. 
but his name is Doran Belmas, and he is the team doctor of the Moldovan national team. They met Doran undercover, and they pretended to be managers of lifters. Uh, and so Doran started talking, and they had a hidden camera. Uh, and he said, we were tested by testers from Hungary. That's why I think that Hunedo or Hunedo is the uh, testing agency from Hungary. When the testers came, we brought our lookalikes, people who kind of look like our athletes. Nani? They gave clean urine and we paid. You pay the testers so that they don't take a closer look at your passports. This is something that happened in recent years. This is a thing that was happening in the IWF. You guys wanna talk about corruption? This is an actual quote from a team doctor on how this shit goes down. It's insane. It's insane. And uh, we're fucked if this shit gets out. Um, maybe I'm not helping it, but you know, it's all right here. This is gonna be the last thing I talk about. You guys should definitely read the summary like I said before, but this is when they talk, they go again undercover. They want, they say that they're going to uh, have a training camp in Thailand and they end up talking to one of the 58 kilo women who was popped about setting up a training camp or, and, and what they want is they want a proper training camp. They need doctors, trainers, and doping. Uh, and so she says, I can set up a training plan. You just have to adjust the training for the doping. Our substances here are not good. Mostly they come from other countries. But I can't say a lot, it's strictly confidential. I don't wanna tell any national secrets. But she ends up talking. She says, we take the stuff that is undetectable after 24 hours. Another substance is more effective, but detectable for three days. They ask, what are the side effects? Deeper voice, hair growth. When I took it, I had a jaw like a man and a mustache. The people in power don't care about the athletes. Athletes should bring home medals, even youth athletes. When did the youngest start doping? At age 13 in national championships. When did you start? At age 18 in 2011 so my body could keep up. That's probably a lie, she probably started earlier. Um, what did you use in 2012? Anabolics. Were you able to pass tests in 2012? Yes, twice. I think I'm the only one that didn't get popped until just now. How could you be sure that you weren't caught? We just stopped taking it early enough. The boss and coach planned it meticulously. Inject, pause, inject, pause. So yeah, this is uh, the culmination of the whole Icarus thing, the the Russia thing, and now it's happening in this sport, and it could be the death of this sport as we know it. I, I think it sucks. I don't wanna see it, this sport go from the Olympics. And I know there's a lot of people out there that just say, screw it, it'll become powerlifting with a bunch of different federations. But in my opinion, that's a nightmare, and that's the worst possible situation. Um, there's a bunch more about the IWF and the money that they get from positives. Um, but I don't want to go over that. Definitely just take a, a look at this. Comment below on what you guys think. I want to see a, a good discourse below. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.